Hey there, we've got another video tutorial. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit like a pro with VN Editor. It's a free software that you can download directly on your phone, both available for iPhone and Android users and on your MacBook or Mac desktop via App Store. If you've seen videos that make those super cool effects and transitions, then VN Editor will be a perfect fit for you. I found it really useful and user-friendly. So, I'll be using my desktop for a wider screen, but all the features and commands are the same when you use your phone. Alright, let's get on to the project. Let's get an overview of our editing board. On the left side are where your materials will be coming from. You can import your photos and videos, or you can directly get from photos already saved in your computer. Then, we've also got built-in titles music, you can either upload your own or get from the ready-to-use music, and then some sound effects. Pretty cool! Default clip is their watermark, but we can remove it, especially when we start adding our videos. Going to the timeline, you can drag this icon to minimize or maximize the view. If you're using your phone, you'll have to drag it with your fingers, then you'll find all the necessary tools for effects. Cutting or trimming, splitting a frame, and so on, which later on we'll be able to explore. Also, some icons to enable or disable a timeline if, for example, you're not going to use a text or an image or music. On the right are some more tools to add enhancements onto your video. And I'm just so excited to show to you guys what we can do with the VN Editor, so let's start the project. I have some clips of an indoor amusement park, which I've taken using my phone, you can click import or drag your videos directly. And once all the shots are settled on your stock, you can preview each by hovering your mouse, moving from left to right. Especially helpful if you have so many shots and you can't decide which videos are good to put first. Anyway, I'll start with this one that has the name of the theme park. And I can drag the video. Here, we'll be given options whether we want to just insert it or it will be after an existing video, before, replace, or even an overlay, like if you wanted to put on top of another video. But since it's our first footage, I'm just gonna insert. And once it's on your timeline, you can actually cut or use the split tool to remove a part that you don't want to be included. Going to our next video, this time I'll have to place it after the first item, cut some part, then, we want to add a transition between the first and the second. Just click the plus icon between them, and here's some preview of the transitions. So if you've got the basic ones, usually fade, dissolve, blur, pixelate, but I love the zoom effect of VN, I think, is really cool and stunning. And on the other hand are what they call the matte. If you're into paint effect, swirl, but I'm not really into that kind of transition, so I'm okay with zoom for now. You can also add effects onto your video, especially if you want to give an emphasis. So you can put this at the start, in the middle, anywhere. Using the tools on the right, you can add filters depending on what kind of video you are producing. They have aesthetic filters, some of them are really good for a more vibrant effect and some other more that is usually common for phone filters. But since my videos are already vibrant, I think they're too colorful enough, so I can simply play with the adjustments, some brightness, and sharpen a little. Then, my favorite part is adding the speed. So here, you can see there's no curve, which means the speed is in natural or normal level. But you can actually adjust it. The lower the curve, the slower your video will be, and the higher the curve, the faster it will be. VN also has presets that we can apply. So if you click on one touch, this is how your video will look like. And you can actually check on some others. If you want to remove the audio, you can go to volume or click onto your audio timeline, drag it to zero, 
and you can also click extract audio and you'll be able to remove it. Now, when it comes to adding your text, the built-in templates are fully customizable. When you drag one, you can change the font style, even upload your own, and add some background or outline. But I prefer a background for a more professional look. All right, I think we pretty much covered most of VN Editor's features. Now I'll just fast forward my editing process, then I'm gonna show you guys the final output.